good evening all welcome to this uh, new session that is dots in radiology we will try to see what are the dots in radiology coming to the first dot is nothing but the polka dot sign or corduroy sign or jail bar sign which all you, which all of you know very well so this is nothing but the polka dot sign where you can see there are multiple vertebral prominent trabeculae against the fatty background or fatty marrow in case of intraosseous hemangioma here these are the nothing but multiple vertebral tra vertical trabeculae on sagittal sections which is mimicking the jail bar sign so this axial sections resembles the polka dot sign whereas the sagittal or coronal images typically depicts the jail bar sign and here this is the mr image where you can see this is the fatty marrow nothing but fatty fat uh, hyper intense fatty marrow and there are multiple vertebral prominent trabeculae depicted by the hyper intense lines so this is nothing but intraosseous hemangioma appearance on mri so remember polka dot sign or corduroy sign or jail bar sign in case of uh, vertebral intraosseous hemangiomas next what is pseudo polka dot sign or pseudo corduroy sign appearance so sim this is we have already seen this is that uh, typical um, polka dot sign in case of vertebral hemangioma whereas this is pseudo polka dot sign which is seen in case of pseudo polka dot sign or pseudo corduroy sign which is seen in case of diffuse osteoporosis so the spine is diffusely osteoporotic and the prominent trabeculae mimics the uh, corduroy appearance or polka dot appearance but so this is a pseudo polka dot appearance or pseudo corduroy sign appearance in case of diffuse osteoporosis where there will be prominent trabeculae are seen against the osteoporotic spine so prominent trabeculae seen in case of osteoporotic spine and this is the true polka dot sign appearance seen in case of vertebral intraosseous hemangioma so compare this is the pseudo polka dot sign appearance in case of diffuse osteoporotic spine and this is the true polka dot appearance seen in case of vertebral intraosseous hemangioma so this, this is the general where which i have taken this reference next what is t2 dark spot sign or black dot sign t2 dark spot sign is seen in case of endometriomas and which helps in differentiating endometrioma from the hemorrhagic cysts this is you can see here you can see this is the classical t2 dark spot sign seen in case of endometrioma which is nothing but uh, low signal spot which is seen in the t2 weighted cysts uh, which is due to hemocytin laden macrophages and fibrous component of the cyst wall t2 dark spot sign has high, high specificity uh, high spe specificity in diagnosing endometriomas but low sensitivity whereas t2 shading sign has high sensitivity and low specificity so remember t2 dark spot sign or black dot sign in case of endometrioma next case what is this uh, dot in circle sign so what is dot in circle sign here you can see there is a soft tissue swelling chronic soft tissue swelling over the foot and here you can see a uh, soft tissue swelling also noted on mr images uh, but this is the zoomed image of the ultrasound where you can see this is the soft tissue swelling and there are multiple ecogenic spot like areas noted within the soft tissue swelling and there is a small hypo hypoechoic dot noted within the ecogenic areas so this ecogenic areas are nothing but the granulation tissue whereas the hypoechoic dot is nothing but the fungus so this dot in circle sign is classically seen in case of madra mycosis so coming to mr image this is other case where you can see this is the soft tissue swelling which is with showing diffuse sclerosis and destruction of the metatarsals even this is the soft tissue swelling which shows the classical dot in circle appearance this is the dot in circle appearance so here you can see this is the central hyper intense area which is nothing but depicted by green one is nothing but the granulation tissue which is surrounded by hypo intense rim which is depicted by blue arrow is nothing but the fibrous septa whereas the central hypo intense dot within the granulation tissue is nothing but the fungus which shows the susceptibility artifacts so these are the three circles mimics mimics or resembles the dot in circle appearance so central hyper intense area is granulation tissue surrounded by hypo intense area is the fibrous septa whereas the central hypo intense dot is nothing but the fungus which shows the susceptibility artifacts so remember dot in circle sign in madra mycosis next case what is mca dot sign so here you can see there is a uh, hyper dense uh, hyper dense area noted within the ciliary fissure on left side which is nothing but the high mca dot sign and there is even infarct in the m2 segment of the left mca here also this is other case where you can see flare hyper intense signal noted in the m2 segment of mca and even cortical branches m3 segment of the mca with hyper intense area in the right parietal duodenal centrosomal showing restricted diffusion with low adc values so whenever you see hyper intense areas in the mc m2 segment of mca definitely search for infarcts in the m2 and mc m3 segments so the, these are other cases of examples of mt mc mca dot sign with infarct in the m2 and m3 segments 
Here also this is the hyperdense MCA sign and M2 M MCA dot sign with infarction M2 and M3 segments. So MCA dot sign is an early marker of thromboembolic occlusion of the digital MCA branches and is usually associated with infarcts in M2 and M3 segments and it's often have better outcome than hyperdense MCA sign. So whenever you have to see this case, see MCA dot sign, try to see for infarcts in the M2 and M3 segments, even repeat the scan after 24 hours because you may get evolving infarcts in M2 segments and M3 segments. Next, what is centrilobular dot sign? Centrilobular dot sign is nothing but seen in case of uh, centrilobular emphysema where there will be diffuse lucent, lucent areas or emphysematous area filling the wall of the secondary pulmonary lobule. So this is the emphysematous area filling the wall of the secondary pulmonary lobule and the central dot is nothing but the central bronchovascular bundle. So central bronchovascular bundle seen in the uh, seen in the background of a emphysematous lucent sec secondary pulmonary lobule in case of centrilobular emphysema is called a centrilobular dot sign. So centrilobular emphysema is common in case of upper lobes, uh, apical and posterior segments of upper lobes and even superior segments of lower lobes and has patchy distribution. So remember centrilobular dot sign in centrilobular emphysema. Next, what is dot in box appearance? Dot in box appearance is nothing but classically seen in pulmonary lymphangitis carcinomatosis. Here you can see this is the classical case of pulmonary lymphangitis carcinomatosis where the interlobular septal thickening uh, mimics the box and the central bronchovascular bundle mimics the dot. So this is the dot in box appearance classically seen in case of lymphangitis carcinomatosis. So remember dot in box appearance in lymphangitis carcinomatosis. This typically occurs in non-dependent part and may be unilateral. Next, what are black dots on SWI? Black dots on SWI are classically seen as multiple punctate dots on SWI images, typically in case of post-radiation uh, injury or post-radiation patients, which is nothing but due to small vessel ischemic or small vessel damage. So SWI is a sensitive sequence for diagnosing black dots on SWI, especially in uh, radiation-induced damage or post-radiation cases. Next, what are all the dots in radiology? We need to sum up. So coming to sum up, summing up the, all the cases, polka dot sign in case, this is the polka dot sign seen in case of hemangioma. This is the pseudo polka dot sign or pseudo polka dot pseudo cordary appearance seen in case of diffuse osteoporosis. This is T2 dark spot sign or black dot sign in case, seen in case of endometrioma. This is the dot in circle sign which is classically seen in mycosis. This is the MCA dot sign seen in case of uh, evolving MC, M2 and M3 segment of MCA infarcts. And this is the typical centrilobular dot sign seen in case of centrilobular emphysema. And this is the dot in box appearance seen in case of lymphangitis carcinomatosis. Thank you all.